Now look, Psalms 106 today, 106 Psalms. Which one, brother? 106. 106. If you read through, I'm not going to take the time to read through. If you read through the 105th Psalm, that is a pre prelude to this. I'm going to be speaking of the 106th, but 105th starts out, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. And then it goes into that covenant that John mentioned there of Abraham. Go over into Genesis and you can find that. And it talks down through here, and I'm looking at the 105th here real quick. I don't want to go through it, but then it says, Our Lord, He called for a famine upon the land, and He broke the whole staff of bread. You know, there's times in our life when He breaks the whole staff of bread. But He called upon that famine. He brought that time. But then look what it says next there. Now I'm, I'm over in the 105th now. But he said he sent a man before them. <coughs> you know, <coughs> remember what Joseph looked at his brothers and said over there in I think it's the 49th chapter of Genesis. <coughs> he said, he said, ye meant it for evil. But God meant it for good Amen. to save many people. See, it, did, it says here Joseph didn't send himself. Mm. <clears throat> the Lord sent him. <clears throat> His brothers turned on him with je with jealousy. Matter of fact, it was Judah that come up with the idea, if I'm not mistaken, to sell him to make some money on this. Mm -hmm. Then, if you walk down through here, it tells of them being delivered from land of Egypt and then it starts off the 106th Psalm and it starts off with how else would you want it to start off with it says praise ye the Lord O give thanks unto the Lord for he is good now there's two word or there's a word in this 106th Psalm that I want to focus on it's one word and it's not really a, a word that you would call <clears throat> magnificent or whatever, but in the context that it has, it is laid out in this 106 psalm, it's never the less. Now we'll get down to that little word, ne never the less. But in verse... <clears throat> That first verse, he said, Oh, pray, praise you the Lord, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. And then he tells you something about his mercy, and I don't know how many times I've heard John say, As far as the east is from the west, because that's never ends. You start north, you eventually come south. But the east is from the west. And what does he say about his mercy? It says, His mercy endureth forever. Because he made a covenant over here with Abraham. <clears throat> Isaac was the promise of the seed. <clears throat> and then he went to Jacob and he changed his name to Israel. As a matter of fact, he changed Abraham. Abram's name to Abraham, which meant the father of the multitudes. And then verse 2 he says who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord you know that took me back to Job I'm just going to walk down through here it took me back to Job in the 38 <clears throat> Lord our Lord and our Lord was speaking to Job. And I know you all 
says, Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind, Who is this that darkeneth counsel by words? And it was without knowledge. Verse 4, and he goes down through here and he's looking at Job as this man and he's saying, Where was thou? Yes. When I laid the foundation of the earth. Mm -hmm. Declare, if thou hast understanding. Who hath laid the measures thereof, if thou knowest? Or who hath stretched the line upon it? And he goes on down through there, and he's asking him, Well, where were you, Job, when I done this? So over here in Psalm, it says, Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can show forth all his praise? <clears throat> Psalms 40 and 5. Many, O oh Lord, my God, are thy wondrous, wonderful works which thou hast done. And thy thoughts, now look where his thoughts are. They are to usward. And who is that us? Those chosen. John was talking about vital union there. Those that were one with him, chosen in him. <clears throat> we love him. Why? Because he first loved us. Mm -hmm. He said, <clears throat> They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than they can be numbered. <clears throat> the Lord, like John said, that laid them stars out. That's his thoughts toward his chosen people, his elect. <clears throat> He's not a God up there who is a begging God <clears throat> who's saying, choose me, choose me. We were chosen in Him. And He goes on to say, blessed are they that keep judgment and he that doeth righteousness at all times. How is that possible to do righteousness at all times? That new man that lies within you that was a birth from above. Amen. <clears throat> you go over to 1 John 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 9. That new man does not sin. The seed, his seed remaineth in him. That is that one <clears throat> that is that can <clears throat> keep all righteousness. This fleshly man, this earthly man... <clears throat> it says the thoughts of the heart are evil and that continually that's each and every single one of us now you come down here to the never the nevertheless in verse 8 well no I'm going to back up verse 4 verse 4 and 5 are a prayer and this psalm is laid out in a manner. He starts off with a prayer in verse 4 and 5. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor. And what is that favor? What's that word mean? Grace. And what is grace? It's unmerited favor. We don't merit that grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. And every little child of God has been shown or will be shown mm -hmm. that wretch. That's what Paul said. He said, oh, wretched man that I am. Oh, wretched man that I am who? This right here, this prayer in verse 4 and 5. Oh, visit me <coughs> with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people <clears throat> who is that who, who is thy people those chosen those chosen of it, he, he, he said that that he is the door he is the shepherd and if anybody comes up any other way 
They are thieves and robbers attempting to rob the, 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 the righteousness of our Lord and Savior. He did the work. He tread the wine press alone. <clears throat> said, Oh, visit me with thy salvation that I may see the good of thy chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation. Now, <clears throat> you can take that verse 4 and 5, and I'm not so sure that you can't lay that. <clears throat> a man was praying in a garden. <clears throat> His name was Jesus. And there were two or three back there, three I believe, sleeping. <clears throat> and I would have been sleeping too. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Now it goes to verse 6 and 7. We have sinned. And why, and, why, and why does it say we have sinned? It says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It says there is none righteous. No, not one. You look within yourself and you see that blackness. And you understand that verse. All have sinned. And come short of what? <clears throat> of the glory of God. Only one. Only one. <clears throat> For as much as the children were partakers of flesh and blood. <clears throat> and then it says here, We have sinned with our fathers. Because that which is flesh, that's what John was talking about too. <clears throat> that which is flesh is flesh. That which is spirit is spirit. What comes from flesh is flesh and it cannot change. Amen. Nothing can change that. And that which is spirit is spirit. There are two. There is a conflict going on and that conflict is only within a little child of God, a sheep of his elect. <clears throat> For that's the only one where there is a treasure within an earthen vessel. It says, we have committed in iniquity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers understood not thy wanders in Egypt. And I'm not going to go through them, but with a mighty hand. He walked them out of Egypt, and with a mighty hand, he brings each and every one of his elect out of Egypt. That's what he does and every time it's with a mighty hand. They remembered not the multitude of thy mercies. <clears throat> and what are those mercies? It tells you in verse 1 what they were. They endureth forever. There's never ending. <clears throat> it says, but provoked him at the sea. Mm -hmm. Even at the Red Sea. Yeah. You brought us out here to die, Moses. We were better off back there with, 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 with the leeks and, and the onions. You brought us out here to die. They provoked him at the Red Sea on the right or the mountains. On, on the left is, is Pharaoh's army. And behind, behind him is the Red Sea. And Moses said, stand still. No works of man will ever save you. Stand still and see the salvation of your Lord. But this next word right here. Yes, they provoked him. They provoked him. It says, we have sinned. But look in verse 8 at that word. Nevertheless. <clears throat> In the context of what's happening here, <clears throat> he talks of the mercies. Then he tells of the Lord. Then there's a prayer. It says, we have sinned. But then our Lord says, nevertheless. What? He what? saved them for what? His name's sake. Now you go back to Deuteronomy, the ninth chapter, and it'll tell you 
it was for his name's sake. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Lest he land, lest the land whence thou broughtest us out, because the Lord remember thy servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It started off in the hundred and fifth chapter saying what? Pointing to the covenant. Mm -hmm. And he said, Remember thy servants. Look not unto the stubbornness of this people, nor to their wickedness, nor to their sin. Lest the land where whence thou broughtest us out say, because the Lord was was not able right. to bring them into the land which he promised them, yeah. and because he hated them, he has brought them out to slay them in the wilderness. What does he say right here? <clears throat> <clears throat> Nevertheless he saved them for his name's sake. There was an intercessor and a mediator. Yes. He brought him up and his name was Moses. <clears throat> that he might make his mighty power to be known. <clears throat> i got to go over here. Go over here to Romans 9. <clears throat> I use this Bible. <clears throat> says here you can start anywhere in Romans 9 as it is written Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated what shall we say then is there unrighteousness with God God forbid he saith to Moses I will I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion so then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. Amen. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, Amen. Even for this same purpose have I raised Amen. thee up. Pharaoh did not have a clue that he was being raised up. That's right, he was looking to his little dead gods, and thinking that they had raised him up. Mm -hmm. He was thinking that his dead gods had made this, this, this nation, the Egyptian nation at that time, the most powerful nation on the, on, on the face of this planet. But the living God, the God of those that were captive, he, he brought, he, that our Lord and God had raised him for a purpose. And he tells you exactly what that purpose is. I have raised thee up that I might show my power in thee and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. And it was declared throughout all the earth because Rahab, she, she told the spies, we have heard of you and this whole city, it shakes. There were men of valor in, in, in that city. They had fought battles and they had won. But they heard of that Red Sea. They heard how, how, how Egypt was destroyed. And they were, and they were judged. He, he brought, he raised Pharaoh for a purpose that is worthy of himself. That his name might be declared throughout all the earth. His name. Amen. <clears throat> he led them through the depths. Mm. We've been led through the depths. You know, Psalms 23 <clears throat> said he leads by the still waters. <clears throat> and still water runs deep. <clears throat> And that's where he leads us by. Those still waters. He saved them from the hand of him that hated them. Let's go back to 105.25. <clears throat> it says here, He turned their heart. Now who is that he right there? He turned their heart. 
to hate his people. Mm -hmm. God Almighty turned the heart of the Egyptians. It said there was a Pharaoh raised up that didn't know Joseph. He didn't know Joseph. And our Lord, he, he turned the heart of those people to hate his people. To deal subtly with his servants. And then what does he say? He sent Moses his servant and Aaron whom he had chosen in verse 25 and 26. I'm not going to make it through this. <clears throat> and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy as the kinsman. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> Now it starts off in verse 13 through 16. It's going back to sin. Look how it toggles back and forth. It toggles from sin, but now there's something coming up here. Then, <coughs> and I'll go past that. Look at verse 13. And I think every person can relate to this right here. Listen to what they listen to what he says. They soon forget forget his works. Have you ever experienced that? Have you ever experienced soon forgetting his works? Mm -hmm. They just seen with a mighty hand. Three days past the Red Sea, you brought us out here to die. You brought we who we were better off back there. Do you see how soon the fleshly man, I'm speaking of the total depravity of a carnal man. The Lord said he is continually evil. This heart is, is desperately wicked. It is, all, it is always wicked. He uses that so that you will see, Lord, only by your amazing grace how sweet the sound that I have any hope any hope whatsoever. They soon forgot his works. They just seen a whole nation destroyed. He parted the sea. Baptism is what that is. They, 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 they parted the sea. <clears throat> but they soon forget his works. They waited not for his counsel. And I think of that little town called I. John spoke on it several months back. They just whipped Jer Jericho by the hand of God. Then there was a little town named I. They didn't seek the counsel of the Lord about this little town named I. And they got whipped. <clears throat> that right there showed that they didn't wait for the, for, for, for the counsel of God. Because they soon forgot and lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tempted God in the desert. And he gave them their, their uh, request. <coughs> Send us food, manna, and quail, the rock, <coughs> from whence come the water, mm -hmm. but sent leanness into their soul. They envied Moses in the camp and Aaron the same. Now comes chastisement. Verse 17 and 18 is chastisement. Now this is not punishment. <coughs> Hebrews 12. <coughs> that is verse 6. There is a difference in punishment and chastisement. For ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto us as in children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint not when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, mm -hmm. and scourges every son whom he receiveth. That's why he said back here, Nevertheless, Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake. And here, now here he chastens us. The Lord opened and swallowed up Dathan. You can read that in Numbers, the 16th chapter. 
and he covered the company of Abram. And a fire was kindled in their company. The flame burned, burned, burned up the wicked. Now 19 through 22, it goes back to sin once again. They made a calf in Horeb. That's when Aaron said, Behold the God that had brought you out of Egypt. He said, Take the earrings. And he formed a, he formed a golden calf. And then when Moses come down, he said, Moses, it walked out of the fire. It says they soon forgot the works of the Almighty God, but he said, Nevertheless, Nevertheless, he saved them for his name. Verse 20, thus they changed their glory into the similitude of an ox that eateth grass. And there's lots of verses I can go to. I'm just going to try and get through it. They forgot God their Savior, which has done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and terrible things by the sea. Once again, chastisement comes in verse 23. Therefore he saith that he would destroy them. But then, the second part of chapter, uh, verse 23, look what happens. Once again, there is a deliverer, and there is an intercessor. Had not Moses, his chosen, stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. But then comes sin in 24 and 25 again. Yea, they despised the, the pleasant land. They believed not his word, but murmured in their tents and hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord. We can relate to that. They soon forgot his works. Mm -hmm. And then chastisement in 26 and 27. Therefore he lifted up his hand against them mm -hmm. to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their seed, also among the nations to scatter them in the lands. Mm -hmm. But sin once again in 28 and 29. <clears throat> they joined themselves unto Baal, ate the sacrifices of the dead. And you go back to the 25th chapter of Numbers and find that. And they, and they provoked him to anger with their inventions. And you go over to a cleat. Over to Ecclesiastes, where it says, Though the inventions of men are many, <clears throat> we have many inventions. And the plague, and the plague bra broke upon them, chastisement, but verse 30 and 31. Once again, he says, Nevertheless, says, Then stood up Phineas and executed judgment, so the plague was stayed, and they was counted unto him. For righteousness unto all generations forevermore. His mercies are for as far as the head. they are forever. And they are ever and then they are everlasting. The Lord knows just exactly how we are, for He created us, He wired us how we are, and He He does that to show His amazing grace. That's what it was for. It is for His name's sake. Yes, we soon forget His works. And it's in AE, each and every one of us. No one has the market cornered on that. <clears throat> Paul said, Oh, wretched man, mm -hmm. even that I am. And that was present tense. Yeah. That wasn't past tense. That's right, brother. That was mm -hmm. present. Mm -hmm. That was right then. <clears throat> And you can say that till the day when he when, 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 when the grinder sees. It's until that day. Mm -hmm. Oh wretched man that I am. <clears throat> they angered him also at the waters to strike. And that's in mm -hmm. Exodus 17. That's Marable. Mm -hmm. So so that it so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes. <clears throat> Moses' strength was not diminished. Why was that? Because their law, the strength of the law was not 
Correct. Was not diminished. The, 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 the Lord, he took him to the top of a mountain and he said, I'll show you that promised land, but Moses, you cannot go in there. There, there, there he'll bring you out of that legalism and he will bring you by his mighty hand into this covenant of grace, unmerited favor. He's toggling back and forth here. Here he starts off with a prayer, and and then he and then the sin, and then the chastisement, not punishment, and then sin, and then he brings a a, a deliverer, and then there's sin, and then there's chastisement, and then he brings another deliverer. But he says, nevertheless. Because his mercies are forevermore. He chose you. He, he loves you. You are vitally linked to a living God. Mm -hmm. And he says once again, verse 33 was chastisement because they provoked his spirit. 34 to 39 was sin. <clears throat> And it tells concerning the Lord commanding him, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. When you, when, you, when you go back to that legalism and you try and bring one of those legal, one of them legalistic laws into this covenant of grace, you are mingling with that and you're trying to bring it in. <coughs> and he won't have it. <clears throat> Verse 40. Mm -hmm. Once again, it's chastisement. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people. And then drop down to verse 4 for 43. <clears throat> it says, Many times did he deliver them. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that was his chosen people. He didn't choose them because they were the most. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, they were the fewest. It, 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 it is a remnant of grace, a remnant of election. Those chosen in him, that's the why. He delivered them many, many times. And they and they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for, for, for their iniquity. But verse, but verse 44, one more time, he says, Nevertheless, can't you grasp? Can, 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 can you grasp how beautiful that word is in the context of how it's laid out in, in this little short psalm? Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction. He thought he seen their, 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 their affliction. And he heard their cry. He knew, he said. Your, the, the, my, this people, this seed will be in a land for 400 years and they will be afflicted. He turned the heart of Egypt to hate his people. <clears throat> and he says, and he remembered for them his covenant. <clears throat> And he repented. And that repented right there does not mean repentance like we repent. Mm -hmm. he, he remembered his covenant. <clears throat> he pitied them in their afflictions. And what mm -hmm. is the description of a little child of God over in Matthew 5? Mm -hmm. Poor in spirit, mm -hmm. mourn, meek, mm -hmm. hunger and thirsting. Mm -hmm. He hears that cry. He said, nevertheless. Oh, you toggle from sin to chastisement. Nevertheless, He delivered them many time and time again. And that's exactly what happens in for His little, his little children now. In 1 Corinthians, it says, these are examples. This was examples. For who? For us. The remnant of grace. The remnant of election. Mm -hmm. And then it goes in verse 47 and it says, and, th and this is a prayer. It says, save, it says, save us, O Lord, our God. And by now, 
can't you see that they could not save themselves? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they, they, they went through this, but in all of this, there is a mm -hmm. purpose mm -hmm. that our Lord brings you through that. It's like them three boys, them, them, them three fellers in that furnace from last week. Mm -hmm. John made a statement there at the end. <clears throat> he says, purification. He'll walk you through that furnace and He will mm -hmm. purify you. <clears throat> he will purify you. Then fellers said, <clears throat> if it be so, if we get thrown in that, <clears throat> we worship the God who is able. Mm -hmm. But if we are, if, if He does not bring us through, 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 through that, we still not we still will not worship your gods <clears throat> for it is for he has done this for a purpose that is worthy of himself Amen. and then in the last in verse 448 <clears throat> it said blessed be the lord god of israel and who is israel you go over to romans 2 and verse 20 Verse, verse 29. Let's just read it. I went through this pretty fast. <clears throat> Romans 2 and 29. It'll tell you, it tells you exactly who Israel is. <clears throat> For he is not a Jew with which is one outwardly. They told those Pharisees, <coughs> they said, think not. <coughs> think not to look to your fleshly side as the seed of, of the seed of Abraham. <coughs> because he knew exactly what they were thinking. Think not. <coughs> think not to look at that. For he said here, for he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, Neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. Now in verse 29, he tells you just exactly what, 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 what a Jew is. It's the Israel of God. It is a spiritual kingdom. He said, but he is a Jew which is one inwardly. And is a, and is a circumcision of that heart in the spirit and not in the letter whose praise is not of men, but of God. Amen. He said, nevertheless, I saved you for my name's sake. Yes. That's what that right there, he made a covenant with, 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 with Abraham. He, and he, and he, he, he even told Abraham, he, 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 he said the stars, your seed will be numbered as the stars. Only our Lord and God can number them stars. And He has numbered each and every one of His little children, and He knows them by name. Amen. Yes, 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 there's sin. It lies at the door, and then there's chastisement. And then there's sin, and then there's chastisement. But He says, nevertheless, His mercies are endless. For each and every one of his little children. And he knows each and every one of them. And he knows them by name. Mm -hmm. oh. <coughs> he said, Bless, it says, Blessed be the Lord God, mm -hmm. the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, and what, and it says, "Amen." So, what does "Amen" mean? So be it. Amen. What else could you hand it right there? Mm -hmm. What he's looking at in the context of this hundred and six psalm? Mm -hmm. So be it. And he ends it with the same thing that he begins the hundred and six psalm with: mm -hmm. <clears throat> "Praise ye the Lord." <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> that's all my throat's got. <clears> throat> 